I'm Wally Amos. Read It Loud is a foundation that creates awareness about the benefits, the values, and the importance of parents, adults, reading aloud to children from birth to age six for at least 10 minutes a day. If you do that, you will have a reader. The idea is not just to learn to read, but to have a thirst for words, a love for reading. Reading aloud works. It's been working for generations, and it works today. Read it loud! Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. This book is called Giggle Giggle Quack. <laughs> so when I say giggle giggle, you say quack. Let's practice. Giggle giggle quack. Very good, very good. The author is Doreen Cronin. The illustrator is Betsy Lewin. And the title, once again, is Giggle Giggle Quack. Farmer Brown was going on vacation. He left his brother Bob in charge of the animals. I wrote everything down for you. Just follow my instructions and everything will be fine. That's a note that Farmer Brown wrote for his brother Bob. But Keep an eye on Duck. On Duck. Duck gets in trouble. He is trouble. Farmer Brown thought he heard giggles and snickers as he drove away, but he couldn't be sure. Bob gave Duck a good long story there and went inside. He read the first note. Tuesday night is pizza night. Not the frozen kind. The hens prefer anchovies. So who do you think wrote that note? The duck. The duck. Duck got rid of all the other messages and left his own messages. So they're going to have pizza. 29 minutes later, there was a hot pizza in the barn. There's a pizza guy. And look at everybody's just eating pizza. The cows, the chickens, the pigs, everybody's very happy. Bob checked the animals before he went to bed. Everything was just fine, he thought. Then he read the note for Wednesday. Wednesday is bath day for pigs. Wash them with my favorite bubble bath and dry them off with my good towels. Remember, they have very sensitive skin. So here the pigs are muddy and dirty. And there's a note that Duck wrote for them to be washed with Farmer Brown's favorite towels. Giggle, giggle! <laughs> Oink! Bob and all the pigs washed in no time. God, look at them. They are so comfortable. Bubble bath. Who would have heard a pig having a bubble bath, man? That's really luxury, you know what I mean? Farmer Brown called home on Wednesday night to check in. Did you feed the animals like I wrote in the note, he asked. Done, replied Bob, counting seven empty pizza boxes. Let's count the pizza boxes, because sometimes these books, they say one thing and mean another. So let's count these. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
Seven. No, right? It is seven. Look, look where a duck keeps his pen and his feathers on his okoli. Did you see my note about the pigs? All taken care of, said Bob proudly. Are you keeping a very close eye on Duck, he asked. Bob gave Duck a good long stare. Duck was too busy sharpening his pencil because he's writing a lot of notes. Just keep him in the house, ordered Farmer Brown. He's a bad influence on the cows. Giggle, giggle, moo! Giggle, giggle, oink! Giggle, quack! Let's do that together. Giggle, giggle, moo! Giggle, giggle, oink! Giggle, quack! Farmer Brown must have... Where do you think Farmer Brown went on vacation? Huh? No. Where did, did he go on vacation? What island do you think? Yeah, he's eating pineapple. We're known for our pineapple. Yeah. Pineapple, pineapple. Thursday, another note. Thursday night is movie night. It's the, it's the cow's turn to pick. Giggle, giggle, moo. Giggle, giggle, moo. Moo. M double O. Bob was in the kitchen popping corn just as the animals settled in to watch the sound of music. There's a, a song. There's a movie called The Sound of Music, right? But they have made it here, The Sound of Music. When the phone rang, the only thing Farmer Brown heard on the other end was, giggle, giggle, quack, giggle, giggle, moo, giggle, oink, uh-oh. Duck! Screamed Farmer Brown. When Farmer Brown heard all that, he knew that something was wrong. Duck made up a sign that says, It's for you, Bob. Duck wasn't going to answer that phone, but Bob was in a lot of trouble. And there is Farmer Brown in his Aloha shirt and his lay with his bag that says, what does that say? Aloha. He's on his way back home from Hawaii. And that's the end. Thanks for reading, guys. Thanks for being a great audience. Bye-bye. <laughs>